next we'll see doubly linked lists doubly linked list insert at the end insert at the end so insert new node at the end so when you take doubly linked list i told you there will be uh, first there will be several other nodes and uh, there will be some uh, links here and there will be lost so one important difference between singly linked list insert at end doubly linked list insert at end the logic here becomes very simple in singly linked list what we have to do is in singly linked list we have to reach to the last node we have to reach last node because uh, uh, we don't have reference to the last node we have reference only to the first node so we have to traverse through all the nodes and reach last node but in this case we don't require this because there is last node already uh, we have reference to the last node so the important thing in doubly linked list the important uh, thing here is the logic becomes simple logic uh, becomes simple if you want to insert at the end because uh, because there is a reference to the last node so this is uh, there is a reference to the last node so this is one important thing so the logic becomes very simple so as usual create the node this is first step read the data create node read data now it should be insert uh, it should become the last node this is nd now when i take nd here uh, what we have to do is this should be the last node so to make this last node the last node uh, uh, the last node till then uh, next should be pointing to nd so last next should be nd then nd uh, previous should be the last node nd previous should be the last node and uh, uh, now the last should be pointing to this last should be pointing to nd so these are the steps required so when i say uh, last next nd means this is referring to this nd previous nd previous here last nd previous last so it is referring to this now this is uh, no more last node this is last node so these are the steps so this is uh, how we have to do the insertion but uh, the special case we have to consider when the list is empty uh, you have to this is uh, this uh, as i told you this is a general logic general logic it works fine only when the list has some nodes when the list is empty so when list is empty first will be none and last will be none and uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, when you are inserting new node uh, both first should refer to this last should refer to this so what will be writing is first is nd and last is nd this is the changes we have to make now when you take these inserts at first insert at beginning uh, if you compare this to the logic is very simple so what we have written uh, already to insert at the end so we'll see that and uh, the logic almost remains same i'll just take this and compare this with this so that uh, it will be easy for you to write the code uh, on your own so uh, what we can do so this is this these are the statements we are writing so the uh, statement for uh, lost means inserting node at the end we have already seen So when you take here, one minute, just I want to. Now, if you take this uh, comparison, so here, this is the general generic logic. 
now this is generic logic for first and this is the generic logic for uh, inserting at the end now when uh, you take insert at the end and insert at uh, insert at end and insert at uh, first wherever next is there you as i told you whenever next is there replace with previous wherever previous uh, is there replace with next wherever first is there replace with last and wherever last is there replace with first so if i take this first statement these two are interchanged so nd dot next uh, nd dot previous so nd dot next in next i am replacing next with previous and it is first here now i am writing last then last dot next just i am comparing uh, so last dot next so last should be replaced with pre uh, first and uh, uh, next should be replaced with previous then uh, that's what i want so the logic becomes very simple so if you write the logic for insertion the same logic is applicable for uh, sorry insert at beginning same logic is applicable for insert at end so i'll take uh, copy this uh, the entire method i've uh, explained the logic and also in comparison with uh, insert at beginning uh, how it changes uh, so either you can uh, take that and uh, copy or you can write freshly so insert at the end so if i take insert at the end so the message enter data for new node check for special case empty list here first instead of first you can check first also there is no problem because both first and last will be none and uh, uh, the generic case here is replace next with previous and first with last here first replace with last previous with next as i told you or you can uh, uh, take the diagram and write it so last so this is uh, the message so data is inserted at end successfully because it's now not beginning at end successfully so this is insert at uh, end so this is the logic for insert at end so we'll execute this because I have modified this, I'll execute this. So I'll execute this. I'll execute this. So one thing is uh, uh, to ensure that list is empty, I'll first uh, execute five display. So it should say list is empty. So it is saying list is empty. When list is empty, I'll try to insert at the end. So two, two. now 55 I'll insert. Sorry, wrong option. So uh, insert at the end, two. So I think I have not uh, modified the main so i'll go main and modify i kept their pass so option equals to two here this i should do it d list insert uh, node see here uh, even the method name i have uh, insert node at the end so i'll keep that method insert node at the end so this is uh, this i have to call have I changed the name? Yeah, I've changed it. Insert node at the end. Because I did not call when option two is selected, it is not getting executed. Now I'll execute this. So I'll execute main. So uh, two insert at the end. So I'll insert 33. Now 33 uh, inserted at the end successfully. Now uh, I'll display. So there should be 33. So 33 is displayed. Now insert at beginning. So 22. So 22 inserted at the beginning successfully. Now 22, 33. Yeah, it is 22, 33. Now again insert at the end. So 44 I'll make. So when I say 22, 33, 44. Yeah, correct. Now insert at the beginning. So 11. Now I'll say 5. So it is 11, 22, 33, 44. So the insert at beginning, insert at end and display are uh, getting executed properly. So uh, next we'll see insert uh, node after given node and delete. These two options we have to 
uh, write the code and uh, we can do it in these subsequent 